What's up Video Four Nation, I'm Magic Bard and for today I'm going to show you guys how to do this nice little effect called Echo all in Premiere Pro so we don't even have to use After Effects today, keeping it simple and straight to it. But before we get started, I want to give a couple of shout outs to all the homies out there, Ali, Lego Mutiny, and Jacob Gaming. Really appreciate the love guys, thanks a lot for leaving us a comment on those videos. Now, if you guys are new to Video Fort, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it so that way you'll be notified every time we put out a new tutorial every single week. With that being said, let's jump into it. Hey guys, so this is what the echo effect is. If you go to your effects panel, um, I would go into your search and type in echo and then you can use this effect just drag it right onto your clip it's already on mine so I won't do that but let's open it up check it out see what we're working with here okay so the echo effect this is how you read it um, echo time is going to be when the echo starts right so this will be negative one second in so one second into my frame into my shot I will start to see the echo so as I'm scrubbing through this you can see as I pass this one second mark you can see another person coming in which is me on this uh, drone shot if you want to know how to create a drone tripod shot like what we've got right here where it looks like everything is completely still as the drones flying in midair um, we have a tutorial on that as well at video for it so check that out but um, it's back to the echo effect um, that's that first thing echo time one second in is when your echo will happen now number of e echoes self-explanatory how many of those echoes you want so every second okay every second there will be another echo up to four echoes okay so as you can see as I pass by two there'll be another guy that comes in as I pass by the third second mark there'll be another guy so we have one two three and as I pass by the fourth we'll have our last one the fourth guy come in and then as I scrub through all those guys will follow as I'm walking in my direction so that's the echo effect now when you first apply the effect it'll probably be on the default echo operator which is add which looks like everything's all blown out and can't see anything so what I would do is put it on maximum or minimum okay so maximum will take the height will take the highlights of the of your frame and then minimum will be the darker parts of your frame so that's how you can play around with that now this isn't exactly the perfect masking situation but it does the job for staying inside a premiere and not having to leave and go into After Effects and then getting really detail oriented with it um, which will obviously take more time this is a great way to just add an effect right in there and boom you're pretty much done with creating this trails looking effect right so you know once again you can add echoes to it so if I wanted to add a fifth guy there he is right there and then you know sixth seventh whatever whatever you want that's really how you create this effect now let me show you another example of you know me again um, dancing around don't mind my dance moves but yeah this is an example by using the minimum okay which takes the darker parts of the frame so um, you know my black shirt my black shorts and then my face is a little bit darker than the background which is all white and kind of blown out so you can almost see it as I pass by over here I get hit by a little bit of sunlight so that's why you see me sort of my neck disappear for a bit right there and then come back in right there so that you know if you want to create this cool little um, trails effect for whatever it is maybe a music video or something this is a easy quick way to do it um, and then really all you have to do is you know if you want your guys to be closer together just um, bring this down so maybe like point five negative point five and then these guys should get a little bit closer once everything loads okay there you go um, even closer maybe point two see what that looks like okay so now you've really got the trails effect right um, and then now you can also use this effect if you want to create this 
sort of dizziness look. So maybe if one of your characters and you're shooting like a point of view shot of your character and he's dizzy or she's dizzy um, and you want to create this trails effect, this is another good use case for the echo effect inside of Premiere Pro. Um, or maybe your character's high or something, whatever. Uh, you know, Use your imagination for your, how you can use this effect, but fairly simple, straight to the point. Um, you're gonna use your echo time, number of echoes. Decay is when the echoes die off. So let me just show you that really quickly. Um, if you drop this decay down, you'll start to see that they fade out, okay? So almost think of it like um, a flame coming out of the exhaust pipe of a car. Um, the flame will be the brightest at the front, and then as the car is moving along, it will die out, right? So, um, you know, another use case could be is if you're using lights and that kind of stuff and you have some cool lighting shots, uh, messing around with that decay will look pretty awesome. So, yeah, guys, that is the echo effect inside of Premiere Pro. Hope this helps you out in making cool music video and little effects that you may need for your videos. All right, guys, I hope that tutorial helped you out. And if it did, Leave us a like, let us know in the comment section what type of videos you want to see more of, any visual effects. I know I've gotten a lot of uh, Kevin Perry and Zach King requests, so I'll get on to those. And if there are any other type of visual effects you guys would like to learn, maybe Instagram uh, videos that you've seen that you want to know how a guy did a certain effect, I will address those in the comments. If not, make a tutorial for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Video Ford. I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one.